Hey guys, Jen Hughes back with Nurse Nerd Fitness. So today I'm going to show you a quick little video that goes over glute strength with these little guys. So loop resistance bands are an awesome way to add on to your workouts. You can use them for upper body, lower body. I just bought these on Amazon. You can tell that they have some different strength. I think it's heavy, light, medium. Today I'm going to choose the extra heavy. You pick a band that you're good with as far as your resistance goes so that you getting your own workout the right way for you. Um, I have four moves I'm going to show you. When you look at glute strength, um, it's good for runners. We want to build all aspects of your glute and I'm just going to put you through a progression that will actually hit a little bit of hamstring too. Um, because not only do you want to have good glute strength because it helps hold us upright during the day, but you also want to work on core. And core doesn't just encompass the front, it also encompasses your back. So we're going to start in an upper position. You're going to put that band on, and if you need help, grab a, grab a wall, grab something. This band's a little slippery, so I'm hoping it doesn't like slip off my legs. Um, put it on hip width apart. We're going to start with what we call a curtsy lunge. So add some tension onto that band, and you want to make sure that it's not curled up or rolled up or anything like that. So you're gonna load one leg, and you're gonna curtsy, and come out, leaving a little bit of tension on that leg so you're not standing all the way up. I'm gonna turn direction so you can kind of see from the side. And I would say you can do 10 or 12 to start. Good for balance, five. You can even add dumbbells, six, that's it. Push through that glute and hip, seven. You're also working that other abductor. Two more, nine, good. It's gonna fire up and start getting warm, 10. Again, normally I would do 12, but for the purposes of the video, we're gonna do 10. Other side. One, two, make sure you're pushing out on that heel. And this band actually doesn't feel hard at all. So you can always switch up. Five, good job. Six, seven, look down. Make sure that your knee is behind your toes, eight keeping your core tight, your chest up. Last one makes 10. Eh, by now they should be on fire a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and take that band off, but you're not done with it, so keep it close to you. And we're gonna grab our stability ball, our good old stability ball. Again, I love this for glute work. You're gonna roll out onto the ball. It is Wednesday, it's Happy Humps Day. Make sure that we're in the video screen, yep. So in this position, you wanna make sure that you're light in your hands and your feet are down touching the ground. So you actually wanna be in almost like a V position so you feel that lower back open up a little bit. Then you're actually gonna brace your core, so pull your belly button into your spine because we wanna support that low back on this ball. Then you're going to bring the ball up and squeeze. So place the ball around your belly button and you're going to squeeze your glutes up, keeping light in your hands. And the whole point of this, guys, is you don't want that ball bouncing all around. So I don't want to see this, right? It's control. Squeezing the glutes and engaging that lower back just a little bit. If you don't have the strength in your core or glutes to pull that up, you're going to do one at a time. Okay, so you would do 10 or 12 on one side and then switch and do 10 or 12 on the other. I love, this is a great one, glute hyperextension. So we're going to finish out with three more, two more, last one. Good, and you roll off the ball. Again, same thing, you would do two more rounds of that all the way through so that you're doing three full rounds. Again, for the purposes of the video, I keep it short, I keep it sweet. You guys do it on your own. You can write the progressions down. Band back up. The band, again, untwisted. 
just below or just above those knees. This one's a little bit more challenging. This is a five part progression that is actually gonna target hamstrings and glutes all at once. I think I showed this in one of my other videos. Turn a little bit so you guys can see. So, core is tight and pushed in, so what I call a spinal imprint. So your back is pushed into the ground. Brace your core, so in other words, pull your belly button into your spine. You want just your heels on the ball, okay? And you want a nice 90 degree in your hip line. First thing you're gonna do is push down on the ball. When you push down on the ball, that engages those hamstrings. Move number two is a lift. Move number three is an open. Move number four is in. And move number five is down and you release those hamstrings. So a lot of time under tension with this band, you guys. It's a challenging move. The whole point is control on that ball. So hamstrings, lift, open, in, down, release. Down, two, three, four, five, and release is six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. By number three, it's gonna start to burn. Take these nice and slow. It's really gonna engage. If you need the break, take the break, because they, like I said, they are challenging. And you don't wanna be going all over the place with the ball. If you don't have a ball at home, you can do it here. Feet are together, or put your feet up on a chair or a bench. You lift, you open, come in, and down. It's a four part move. Okay, this is if you don't have a ball or something to elevate your feet on. It's gonna pull just a little bit different, but you'll still be working those glutes and hamstrings. Good, and again, your progression is three sets of 10, three sets of 12. Good job. Give me two more. And again, once you're done with this, you would actually complete two more rounds before progressing to the next exercise I'm gonna show you. Nice little booty add-on, happy hump day. Good. Release that low back, stretch out those glutes and hamstrings. Leave that band in place because the next thing we're gonna do is called a clamshell. So you're gonna be on your side. On this one, it's really important that you keep your body in good alignment. I don't wanna see you leaning back this way and your legs are forward because that's gonna put torque on your spine and that's not good. So brace your core, nice, nice angle. Your hand here is forward supporting. Your knees are up towards your chest a little bit at like a 45 degree angle and you're gonna open and close. Open and close. Again, being careful not to rotate your body, right? It's not your body that's rotating, it's your glute. So feet are staying together. And again, you progress and do three sets of 10, three sets of 12, wherever you're at in your journey. Four more. Three. Two, one, again, keeping your core tight, and you're gonna switch sides. Make sure you're in good alignment, good position. Core is tight, you're leaning forward a little bit so that your hips are steady, then you open. Two, and don't forget to squeeze right back here. Three, four, good job. Five, six, Seven, eight, keeping your core tight. 10, I'm gonna give you two more. And 12, nice job. So roll to your back, pull that band off, slowly make your way up. 
It's a nice little add-on for your gluten hammy day. I hope you enjoyed it. Check back for more videos. Happy hump day, y'all.